salmon fishery in the world. Come on, baby! <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the January fishing report here for Tropic Star Lodge. It's another beautiful January afternoon here in the Darien. The boats are back, the flags are flying, and the Pina Canadas are cold. So enjoy the fishing reports, everybody. Okay, so it's a kick of January. We had, a, we had a, a really interesting group here. Let's just say they really knew how to have a lot of fun. It was the Zach Cloud and Friends group. And um, they opted for a video package, so they had Kesh with them every day that they were fishing. And their fishing was nuts. They got a double hookup of sailfish. They caught more than their fair share of marlin. They got to ride on fly. They just had all round incredible fishing. And the guys on the boats, Man, the amount of high fives that those guys gave out was absolutely insane. But the action was non-stop. And so, my man Kesh got some beautiful footage and we're gonna show you just why we, we opt for people to put the GoPros on the boats and get this really once in a lifetime opportunity where you can have a professional put a video, a video creation for you. You get to have your own fishing show and you can show all your friends just how much fun you had. And it's really special to share with your family as well when you get back. So. Have a look and let us know what you think. Sorry, these things are amazing. <laughs> um, so, you have Tropic Star Lodge. A lot of people have read the books and heard about it. It's one of the most common things we get when we meet our new, our new family. Sorry, parrots are going nuts. <laughs> is they've wanted to come here for so many years and they can't believe just what a big operation is when they get here. So this week we wanted to show you a little bit about the world of what we call the Thai Air, our workshops. Right now we're upgrading our own Bertram 31s. We're redoing them completely new electronics, new fighting chairs, new live wells. The team down there, we have all the carpentry guys down there. We have electricians, we have mechanics. We change all of our own engines. We do everything down there. And so, a man Kesh went down there and he's gonna show you just a little bit of the working world of what the guys do down here. And we've had some really, really great comments on our new boats, which are the old 31s that we're just upgrading a little bit with AC, and they've been a huge hit. The new Volvo engines are absolutely phenomenal. The fuel economy is great. They're a lot quieter and they run a lot faster. So we're out on the fish earlier and we get bait quicker, which means we have better fishing. So it's really, really cool. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it.
So for those of you who've been tuning into our fishing report, uh, and you know, we've said, please let us know what you want to see in them, because we really, this is for you guys, we want you to enjoy it. So every month we ask a couple people if they, if they wouldn't mind giving us a little video testimonial. And so I'd really like to introduce you guys to Jessica and Flint. Both of them have been here more than once, a lot more than once actually. They really are part of our family, but then all of our guests are. And so have a look what they had to say about their time here, because we had so much fun with them. We had an amazing week this week. We saw, I saw my first black and also got assistance from all the anglers who were here at Tropic Star this week to tag seven black marlin as part of our five year study here. And it was the most exhilarating experience. The blacks are so different in comparison to the blues with their fight, their jumps, and handling them at the boat. And you had to be very delicate, very quick, and it was great to have skilled captains like Gavilan and Manuel, the mate, to help us out with this week. And it was, I, I definitely need to come back <laughs> next year for the next season, for sure. I jumped in the waters with a few of them, and that was exhilarating. The colors that lit up, it, again, is so different from a blue. So it was very cool to see as a scientist how that changes depending on what they're doing. And that the fact that they're all heading south uh, as part of their journey and we just are there for a snapshot in time. Really mesmerizing experience and I hope to get that again soon. During this trip we also saw dolphin fish which is a part of our tagging program as well. So anglers took part in putting conventional tags in a few of the mahi that were caught and we did very very well and although they were stealing some bait sometimes <laughs> that was that was a little annoying but you know what in what part of the world can you have uh, such access to these animals in a sustainable way and the colors the jumps all spectacular being able to release them all was very gratifying and who knows they might pop back up very soon or in another country's waters you just don't know until you see them again so i have totally enjoyed my trip I've, this is my umpteenth time being here and i consider it my home so I'm looking forward to the next adventure here at Tropic Star Lodge. Hi, my name's Flint Bessaker, and here at Tropic Star Lodge, I want to tell you a little bit of the experiences that I've had so far. Well, first, I've been marlin fishing all over the world, and then I discovered this place. And I came here and accomplished many of my marlin goals. And interestingly, I brought my youngest son, Noah, here, and he caught his first marlin our first day out and now I come here every year, sometimes twice a year, and it is, in my opinion, the best marlin fishery in the world. I come here in August and I come here in January or February. We've caught blue marlin, black marlin, striped marlin, sailfish, tuna. The fishery here is so diverse. One day we can catch a blue marlin in the morning, and then my son caught a rooster fish in the afternoon on a popper. And it is so great. Noah loves throwing those popper lures out and catching tuna, mahi, even a sailfish on a spinning rod. So this is one of the best fisheries in the world, bar none, and it's like Jurassic Park. And you have essentially the fishery to yourself. And that's why we love it, and that's why we come every year. Noah, my youngest son, also enjoys the staff here, and the staff is also second to none. They are top rate, they always know your name, the service is great, whether it's Patterson, Marvin, Richard, Neilis, Richie, the fishing director, they're always here to please and serve. And they are fantastic, they love Noah, they ask about them every time when I'm here without them and Noah asks about them. This is a great staff. I would recommend this place to anybody who's a serious fishing person. And I also brought my dad here who had never caught a marlin in his life. And a year ago I said, Dad, I know the place to go so you can catch your first marlin. And on day one, I watched him catch his first marlin by 10 in the morning. And it was fantastic. I would recommend this to anybody. So, if you've seen any of the, the amazing fishing shows or read any of the articles on us, one thing rings true through all of them. The captains and mates at Tropic Star Lodge 
are some of undoubtedly the best in the world. You see, all of them are homegrown right here from the village of Pinas. And to become a mate or to become a captain is, is what you want to be. I mean, every little boy wants to be a fireman. Every little boy down here wants to be a captain. So to become a captain, you have to spend at least 10 years as a mate first. The fastest anyone has ever done it is in nine years. And to become a mate, you have to spend two years in training. So you're going to be spending six months in our tackle shop that you might have seen, learning how to look after rods, how to look after reels, tie knots, how to clean boats, all of that. And after six months in tackle shop, then you get to do boat duty. And that's where you learn how to fillet your fish, you learn how to sew belly baits, you're going to learn how to rig the bonita the way we like it, where we pass a bit of cotton through the eyes, put that circle hook nice and tight up against the head. They actually practice gaffing coconuts in the beginning before they go into fish. And wrapping and leadering a marlin really is an art form. And people can get hurt doing it. And so before we put them on big fish, we teach them with a bucket the correct way and we have them practicing the incorrect way to do it to make sure they understand the safety. And then we slowly move up to bigger fish. So to become a mate here really takes a long time. It's just two years of training. And then after that, that is when you get your yellow shirt and you're part of the family. And some of our mates have been mates here for over 20 years. Some of our captains over 30 years. We have multiple captains who've won Black Marlin of the Year Award. And so the crews here, the captains and mates are second to none. So, <laughs> the fishing in January has been explosive. It has been incredible and the marlin bite in particular has been absolutely amazing. The black marlin, Her Majesty of the Ocean, is undoubtedly my favorite fish. And so the black marlin bite has really, really turned on. We've had multiple fish over 700 pounds. Every week we have, I don't know, at least 10 over 500 pounds. And the fishing has been really, really good. The, the bites has been a little bit interesting. As soon as that northerly wind comes up, is when we're getting most of the bites. And obviously, Tropics are a large family, is a big family. But the private boats, who are extended family, as it were, have also been down here. And they've been having excellent fishing as well. I mean, the other day, our friends on Shoe were like, oh my god, there's an orca in the spread. That's how big the marlin was. And I got to spend a day with them, and we got a beautiful marlin of around 500 pounds. And I mean, it's just, it's been, it's been non-stop. We've had multiple Grand Slams yet again in January. The Dorado, I mean, the one week we had over 700 Dorado caught. It's just been bonkers. We had one Dorado that the guys caught that was 75 inches to the fork. That's, that's a Dorado over 70 pounds. That is an absolute monster. I caught one of 63 and it was as big as me and I'm six foot. And so the Dorado have been big and they've been ferocious. The sailfish have been around as well. And the one day actually one of our boats just missed a double grand slam and he just missed a, fat, a super slam. He got two blues, he got a black, he missed a stripe and he got two sails. On top of that he got another 20 Dorado. What, I mean that's a storybook fishing day if ever I've heard one. I was still, I couldn't believe they got back to the dock. I would have tried to stay out there all day for that next black. Catching billfish on fly is an art form unto itself and Bill and Nicky Wilson have got it down. Bill released a black marlin that would have been a world record. Nicky released sailfish and thank you so much guys for the footage. It was absolutely incredible. Some of the people, as you know, come down every year in January. They make great friendships with their captains. We had the Mahaffey group down here again and they had, they had the best marlin bite that they've ever had and they've been coming down here for over 16 years. He came with his very good friend, the Bonsignores, and they also had a very good bite. Our good friend James Henchy was all the way from the UK with his buddy Steve. They got seven blacks that week. Steve had never caught a marlin. James got his first marlin here three years ago. And so January is just a really, really good time. If you're serious about black marlin, the January-February bite here at Tropic Star Lodge is legendary and that's for a reason. The black marlin, Her Majesty, puts on a fight like no other bullfish. She'll jump clear six foot out the water quite easily and when you grab that leader, 
that is when the fight starts. And so the longest fight last season was six and a half hours. And so let's see if we can get anywhere near that this year. I hope not, because I hope we get into the boats a little bit quicker. So some of you might have heard me say before, catch and release, it's about respect. And it really is, it's about respect for the fish, for the ocean that we fish in, and above all, respect for the future generation. And that is what's great about Tropic Star Lodge. We really do get a lot of young anglers here from young, young, like three to five years old. But we're also getting a lot of teenagers, 20 something, 30 something, that come down here and really have a good time. So the next two people who are gonna give you a testimonial of some of that new future generation coming through. I've got Cyan, and he's a great young man. He came through with his dad. Both of them are absolutely excellent golf players. And so they came down to have a bit of fun. We convinced him to get in front of camera for us. And then we also got Michelle. She's an absolutely avid angler and she, she actually is a sponsored fishing lady, professional angler with Pelagic. And she came down here with her husband. And so I'll let you tell, I want you to hear straight from them how good the fishing was for them. Because I promise you, that during January, we just have too many storybook fishing days to mention them all. And so let's see what they had to say. Tropic Star Lodge has been by far the most incredible fishing destination I've ever been to. Uh, the fishing is different every single day, it is something new. I caught my first big black marlin, so I was extremely excited. Um, the lodge, the staff, the property is beautiful, everything is incredible, the food is amazing. Um, I couldn't have been happier to uh, be here and to make new friends. Everybody treats you like family. Um, it's just the most incredible vacation that I've ever had and I will certainly be back. Um, hopefully I'll be living here. <laughs> I will be telling all of my fishing friends, my followers on Instagram to come here immediately. Um, I have a lot of people that ask me um, where they can go to fish and this will absolutely be my, my top uh, number one uh, recommendation always. So our boat was the Costa Rica and you have your own captain and your own mate. It's kind of cool because they tell you about their culture and where they live over in the village and they are some of the most amazing fishermen I've ever seen in my life and without them you probably wouldn't catch any fish. And every day, I mean, they're doing their very most to try and get you a marlin or whatever you want. I mean, it was... It was an incredible experience getting to meet them and have them on the boat with us. The lodge here is probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. I mean, when you come back from fishing, you can take a shower, go to the pool, have a drink, and then you have dinner. I mean, the food here is some of the best and freshest food I've ever had in my life. I mean, the drinks, the people, the people, the work, the hand here is what makes it, this place so amazing. I mean. They're giving 110% just so you can have one of the best experiences that you can have. I mean, the lodge is literally almost unbelievable how good it is here. Conservation is something that's really, really important to us down here at Tropic Star Lodge. We're one of the first places in the world to really get stuck into using circle hooks. And with Mama Terry being on, on the board of IGFA, you know, we, we've really tried to help and educate as many people as possible and try and push conservation as much as we can. So we are very happy working with the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation and the Guy Harvey Research Institute, along with Nova Southeast University. We, we have a five-year program going on right now. And that five-year program is to tag rooster fish. We've got a couple of satellite tags. We're working with stingrays and sharks as well. We're doing Dorado tagging, and we're very happy to say we've got over 500 mahi tags out already. We've actually had a couple recaptures as well on our mahi already. And we only started that in November. And then something that's never been done before, we are putting 30 satellite tags out. These satellite tags are very expensive but it's very important to get all the information we possibly can about our fisheries 
because if we wanted to change any laws, we have to have scientific backing. And so we're putting 30 satellite tags out, 10 on black marlin, 10 on blue marlin, and 10 on sailfish. We had Guy Harvey and Jessica Harvey, along with Roosterfish Ryan, who's actually Ryan Logan, but lovingly Roosterfish Ryan. We had them down here helping us with it. And a thank you to you, our Tropic Star family, who helped put this all together. You see, what we're doing is we're hooking black marlin, and once you got your release, we were, the, the chase boat would be right there, and we'd do a handover of the rod, and we'd hand the rod over to Jessica and Guy, or Ryan and the team, and then they'd bring the fish up to the side of the boat, we put a satellite tag in it, we put estimated size on it, take photos. We've also been doing fin clippings and muscle tissue samples, and that's just to get as much scientific information as we possibly can. Because like we said, if we, want to, if we want to save our seas and have this for the next generation, we really have to look to, forward to the future and make sure we each and all of us do our absolute best for conservation. And that's why I always say catch and release, it's about respect. Respect for the future generation, respect for our ocean, and respect for the beautiful, beautiful fish that we're catching. We want to make sure they're there for the future. And so thank you everyone for all your support. And if you'd like to find out about more about this conservation effort that we're doing, please feel free to email us, have a look on our social media, have a look at our website, and any donations would be greatly appreciated. Because like we said, these satellite tags can be a $6,000 each. So to do 30 of them has been a big expense, but it's something that we have to do for the future of these fish. In the world of marlin fishing, there's few people who are well known as Dr. Guy Harvey. And what a guy he is. For anyone who's ever met him, they'll tell you he's one of the nicest people you ever meet with a heart of gold. His heart truly is the size of the ocean. And besides for his family, that's probably what he loves more than anything else in the world. You see, he does so much to save our oceans and on education and everything else in between. He's an exceptional philanthropist and he is definitely one of our extended family. This month, some of the people who got to fish the same time with him went for a real treat. While raising money for satellite tagging for these beautiful fish, he painted here on property and it is such a beautiful painting. And to see Guy Harvey doing something that he enjoys so much, you see this is like his meditation. And so having him do that on site was just incredible to see something that makes him so happy and being able to share that with him and see everyone else enjoying it as well. So we put a bit of a time lapse together and it's, he's absolutely incredible, he really is. Ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you've enjoyed this fishing report. It's been an absolutely mind-blowing January. It's been so much fun with so many returning guests and all of that. And February is set to be just as good, if not better. The bigger tuna will be coming through and that is always so much fun. So please, again, leave us your comments, share the video with everyone and tell us what you want to see in the next one. We really appreciate your comments and we love any stories that you want to share with us. 
So have a look on our social media, have a look at our website, send us an email. We love hearing from our extended family. And so until the same time next month, ciao for now.